Hey everybody, Ally Entertainment, and this week's movie review is on Night at the Museum, A Secret of the Tomb. So if you guys aren't too sure what it's about, it is a continuation of the original Night at the Museum, where Larry Daly takes a job as a night guard, and he ends up on his first shift finding that the exhibits come to life from this magical tablet. Uh, the only thing is now the tablet is losing its power, and so him and all the exhibits go on this wild adventure to try to figure out how they can get this to work. And along they may meet new friends and enemies, and it is a laugh out loud comedy. The main star we got in here is Ben Stiller. He plays Larry Daly, and he also took on another character called Lala. You guys might remember him from There's Something About Mary, Zoolander, Duplex, Meet the Parents, Tropic Thunder, The Watch, The Secret of Walter Minty. He's also directed and produced some of his movies. I find that he is absolutely amazing. He is so funny. I enjoy every single movie I see him in. And then we got Owen Wilson. He plays Jebediah. He was in Bottle Rocket, Armageddon, Meet the Parents, Shanghai Noon, Zoolander, Startsky and Hutch, Wedding Crashers, You, Me, and Dupree, Cars, Marley and Me, Marmaduke, and The Internship. He's actually been in a lot of movies with Ben Stiller, and I love the type of chemistry that they have. However, in this one, Owen Wilson didn't do as much chemistry work with... Uh, Ben Stiller, he actually had another character that he did a lot of chemistry work with. But I absolutely love his movies. I think every movie that he comes out with, I seriously, I have to buy it. He is such a classic, funny actor, and who doesn't love his crooked nose? And then we have Robin Williams. He plays Teddy Roosevelt. You guys might remember some of his earlier work, Good Morning Vietnam, Hook, Mrs. Doubtfire, Aladdin... Jumanji, and he's also been in Goodwill Hunting, Patch Adams, One Hour Photo, World's Greatest Dad. And unfortunately, this year we lost him. He passed away. And I gotta tell you, it, it, it hit me hard because I remember when I was 10 years old and I would watch Mrs. Doubtfire, I swear, at least once a week for a laugh. I just thought he was such an amazing, amazing actor. Unfortunately, he lost his battle to depression, which really sucks. Um, that's one thing that I'm dealing with as well, but I found uh, putting a lot of my effort into making videos and everything like that has kind of got me through everything. So again, it's, it's so sad to hear about his passing. And this is one of the last movies that he's done, so I definitely had to see this movie. Other characters in this movie, we have Dan Stevens. He plays Sir Lancelot. We got Ricky Jervis, who played Dr. McPhee. We got Rebel, Rebel Wilson, who plays Tilly, which is absolutely awesome. I've seen her in Pitch Perfect and Bridesmaids? I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, she every role I've seen her in, she's been pretty funny. And then we got Ben Kingsley, who played Mir Kahir. I think I'm saying it right. And then we got Dick Van Dyke, who plays Cecil. And the late and great Mickey Rooney. He played uh, the old security guard, so he had little cameos in each um, each video. Again, it's, it's sad that uh, he's passing. His passing, he passed at 93 years of age. And he's been around since the 1930s, so you guys have to have seen him in a movie. Like, if you haven't, look him up. Check out one of his movies. He is absolutely awesome. So, the budget for this film was $127 million. Opening weekend, they made about $17 million. And gross, they made about $24 million. So, really, they only made about a quarter of their money back, which... Honestly, is not a whole lot, but I'm guessing the budget um, more than likely went to some of their star-studded casts. And you know, it it 
it came in around Christmas time, so it's hard. I mean, you know, it came with Lord of the Rings. Everybody went to, not Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit. Everybody went to The Hobbit, so they kind of put this on the back burner. But I'm hoping that in the new year, it will start to increase people watching it. Because, again, it's an awesome movie. They found that, you know, for reviews, they found that the cast was funny. That it was a good holiday movie. It's great for all ages. It's it's pretty sad watching this movie, though, because you kind of see the final performance of Robin Williams. And again, you see a little bit of Mickey Rooney. Um, I love that they added new characters, um, which was funny. Like, Sir Lancelot was hilarious. Pretty cute, too. And Rebel Wilson made definitely made made the, the funniness. And I have to say, um, watching her with Lala was hilarious. <laughs> And, um, again with Lala, um, Ben Stillard played him, if you guys don't know who Lala is, he was, um, why can't I think of the name? I can't think of the name, you know, when dinosaurs come, and caveman, yes, caveman, okay, so he was a caveman, and, um, anyway, again, Ben Stiller played with him, I thought he was funny, but a lot of people felt that, you know, they could have made it funnier that he, I guess he could have done a better job, but I enjoyed it. And again, I thought it was funny between his character and Tilly falling in love, but can't really talk to each other because he can't speak English. <laughs> so, uh, for the user reviews, a lot of people are giving it a 7 out of 10. You know, it was a great, great trilogy. I enjoyed all three movies. Uh, for my five fingers, I'd have to give it a four, just because I love the characters in it. It's funny, and I really hope that they continue on with the Night of the Museum, but this time they actually have a chance to start a whole new uh, museum series, hopefully in England with Rebel Wilson. So I hope you guys liked my little rant and review. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. You guys have a great night.